Hey guys, so today, as you can tell from the title, I am doing a Lush haul and I'm so happy. I know it's, it's kind of funny because I haven't done a Lush haul in a really long time. In fact, I don't think I've done a haul in quite some time just because I haven't spent money on myself since before Christmas, or like a good month before Christmas at least. I don't remember what my last haul video was, but um, this is going to be a Lush haul. <laughs> I'm so excited to share this with you guys, which is kind of funny because Lush was, um, has always been a really big brand for me. I love Lush. It's kind of like a spoil brand for me. I like to kind of spoil myself there because um, it's like not necessary, but like you like it because it's awesome. Just kind of like makeup, but I don't spend that much money on makeup anymore. I, I just haven't bought anything for myself in a while just because I don't find I need anything. And I probably won't buy anything for myself for quite some time after this because I spent like $70 today and I felt kind of bad about it. But then I looked at what I got and I'm really happy with it. So, um, this goes back to my first video, which was actually a Lush video. So if you haven't seen that before, you can, um, I'll link it in the bottom bar and it's just... A video where I talk about these soaps that I've been I bought um, while I was in Hong Kong and there's a whole bunch of lushes in Hong Kong so it was really nice and I think it was actually cheaper there um, so I got a whole bunch and I got like a bath bomb and I don't think I did a review on it but I did talk about like the scents and stuff so if you want to know more about that kind of stuff that's in the bottom bar but um today I'm going to talk about something a little bit different so I went into lush with like a pure um goal. I had the goal to do one thing. I needed two things from Lush. I needed um, toner tabs and I needed a mask. I was going to give it to my sister to be like a thank you present for her editing my college essays, which I really, really appreciated and I turned in yesterday. So I'm all done, finally. I'm really, really excited about that. But um, yeah, so that's what I'm giving her. I'm excited about my purchases. I'm gonna talk um, kind of fast because I don't want this to be too long. If you want, like, I'll probably have more in depth reviews after I've used them all and after I've kind of like gone through it more and really had a chance to try out the product. But my initial reaction to all these is really, really exciting. Um, so the first thing I got, like I said, was all these kind of tabs. Um, these are the tea tree toner tabs, um, and these are really nice because what they do is you plop them in like a, a hot, really hot thing of water, um, and then you drop one of these in it, and then the steam rises up. So you put like a towel over your head, and the steam kind of like gets trapped inside of that, and your face is there. So the steam will open up all your pores and then the oils from there evaporate and then they like clean out all your pores so it's filled with essential oils and um, I believe aloe as well which relaxes you so it's very it smells very nice too when you um, put these in water so I bought two of these one for me one for my sister um, these are $1.95 each. And the second thing I came to buy was one of their fresh face masks because I know that they're like $6.95 each and you can only buy them in store because um, they have to be refrigerated because they, they don't contain preservatives at all, which is what I love about Lush. Everything's so organic and handmade that like everything is, is just good for you. There's nothing bad for you in any of this. Um, but it, sadly, it does expire though. So instead, the lady told me that they ran out all of them, and I was so sad because they did, and I was really looking forward to it. So instead, she directed me to a different mask, and it's called the Mask of Magnaminty. And you can probably guess why it's called that. Um, on here it says, uh, Deeply cleansing, toning, and exfoliating pepperminty mask refreshes and brightens all it touches. Um, so... It has peppermint in it, and it has like a whole bunch of other things. The China clay and the betonite gel will pull the dirt from your pores, ground a dookie beans, and even an evening primrose seeds exfoliate um, your skin cells. And peppermint oil will make you feel so good and minty, you'll forget you were ever grubby. So it like it's just like a beautiful mask, and it's like the she tried it on my my hand, and it does still smell really good. But um, she did like a whole procedure in my hand. And this is what it looks like. It's it's a lot greener in person. My lighting is just really bad. But this smells so good. It's like pepperminty. But you can like kind of smell those seeds. And it's like a clay consistency. It's very, very thick. 
and you don't need too much of this either she told me like if I scooped my thumb in that's all I need and she said this would last a couple months and so this expires in April 8th 2012 um, so I have around four months to use it um, she also said I could use it once to twice a week so I plan on doing that I'm getting every bit of this used um, I'm not gonna waste it so because that was that would be bad and this was $22.95 um, which is kind of pricey if you think about it I was aiming for you know face mask that was $6.95 um, but I got this instead and I am kind of happy I got this though because this has like a clay consistency versus just like a like a frothy consistency so this is really nice um, and apparently it's like their best one it's amazing apparently I've heard such great things all of the people in the store said it was amazing, so I'm I have really high expectations for this, and hopefully it works really well. So then the rest of it um, was for me. Like I said earlier, I the only things I've ever bought at Lush are like soaps and bath things. So this time I bought some face stuff because I've been running out of my cleanser. I invested in a different um, cleanser. This is the Angels on Bare Skin. Um, this is cleanser for soft exfoliation suitable for all skin types and I told her I pretty much told the lady I'm like this is what my skin is like it's not problem skin like I don't have any like I'm not very oily I don't have I'm not very dry either I have very normal skin I'm not prone to breakouts anything like that like a very normal skin and she was like that's like perfect skin so really all you need is like a good cleanser and I'm like yeah so she recommended this for me and this is their best-selling one actually so if anything I was probably gonna try this one anyway and this is really nice as well and it smells really nice uh, it kind of smells like a whole bunch of different oils I don't really it, a little bit of mint in there too I don't really know how to describe it so I'm just gonna read it it says for heavenly soft and balanced skin take a smidge of angels on bare skin mix with a little water and massage in the Cowan um, clay based deep cleanses with ground almonds gently exfoliate the dead skin away rose and lavender are added to soothe and keep balance of combination in skin um, yeah so I'm a liar there's not even I don't even know if there's mint in this it's mostly ground almonds so um, I mean I think this smells really good though and you can like see the seeds and stuff in it that's what it looks like and it's very pliable it's like clay and you only use a pea size amount this was $9.84 but you can get however much you want I told the lady like this is what my skin is like and she's like well like you should try this out and see if it works and she tried this on the back of my hand I thought it felt really good and it like took out all the dirt and stuff that I didn't you know want and so she's like she told me to try this much because this would give me about three weeks which is how long you should try a cleanser for before you see like any real results or anything like that so I said I'd give it a shot and it was only 10 bucks so this was pretty good I'm excited about this it smells really good I don't know I really like the scent it smells clean to me. Alright, she told me to follow that up with a toner and I don't have a toner I never use toner I just go from my face wash to my moisturizer which is the Clinique dramatically different moisturizer um, so I did buy a toner and this is the one she recommended for my skin type this is the Ooh Roma water toner um, it says tone your skin with fresh rose petals and lavender excellent on dry or sensitive skin for, of all ages it's a floral toner water um, it's supposed to be gentle again it has like essential oils it takes off the all the the bad stuff from like your like if you don't use one of the lush um, cleansers it takes off all residue from your cleanser and stuff it says lavender helps skin to produce the right amount of sebum to keep it more supple so it, again it, again it keeps it has the essential oils to keep your skin like perfect um, in the perfect balance really is what toner does for you and I got the big one this is 8.4 fluid ounces um, the other one, there's a baby one, the small one, that's like 3.3 fluid ounces, and that was around $9. This is, um, $19.95. So it was a lot more expensive, like double the price, but I also get like triple the product. And you do tend to use more toner because you spritz like three or four times, um, twice a day. So in the morning and in the night, so I would probably use 
you know, double this anyway. So I guess this would be in the investment. So between the mask and that, it was a lot of money. Um, all right, so then she told me to end my regime with a moisturizer, and she recommended for me um, this one. It's called Skin Drink. It looks like this. This kind of looks poopy, but um, this is a little sample size she gave me because I didn't want to buy the moisturizer. It it feels really good on my skin, and I knew it did, but I didn't want to spend that much more money. I would have spent over $100 today. Um, it's the Skin Drink Moisturizer. She, she, instead, she gave me this little sample, and if I want, like, if it you know works really well, I can go back and get it. Um, one for the Pot of Sesame Oil, which... Moisturizer up for parched skin. This is a rich, thick cream to turn rough, dry skin into supple, soft skin for as long as you continue to use it. Um, it has sesame, almond, and even primrose to moisturize. Organic avocado is softened and calming rose oil all mixed up to a soothing aloe vera. Um, so this has like a whole bunch of things like rose water, avocado, aloe vera, sesame oil, avocados. I'm sorry, almonds, um, rose petals. So it's like, it's very, very good for your skin. It's very soft. Um, everything that, yeah, so looks like this. I don't know. I don't really have an opinion of the smell. It doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell like good either. Um, so this is like a little sample. She told me to try it the way she told me to. Um, while I have a little bit of toner on my face, my face is still damp to try this. And it like will like moisturize. So I'm excited to see how that goes, and if I like it, then I'll go out and buy the other one. Um, the big size is like $23.95. It's $22.95. So lastly, um, that would be like my skincare stuff. So lastly, I decided to spoil myself a little bit, and seeing as it's winter, I have very dry skin. Like my body is dry, my face is never dry, but my body is really dry. So I got um, a massage bar and the way I'm going to use this is kind of like a lotion. This is um, pretty much, this is pure like cocoa butter and a whole bunch of other good stuff. So this is called um, the Mange, the Mange 2 massage bar. Mange in French means eat. Um, so, sorry, it means like you can eat this too and this is actually really funny because this is made from honey, chocolate, um, honey and chocolate and like banana so if you like rub this on your skin you could lick it and it's completely edible so you could technically eat this not that I would I think that's almost a waste of money but um it smells delicious you oh my gosh you would want to eat this it smells like chocolate with like a hint of honey so it smells so good. This is white chocolate infused with cocoa butter and honey and a little bit of banana and the honey and the banana make it very soft was the cocoa butter is again hydrating and then the white chocolate just gives it that delicious smell has a little bit of peppermint um which is soothing um so that's pretty much it and it smells so good so um what you do with this is you just kind of rub it get it warm um what i'm gonna do with it is really just use it after i get out of the shower and kind of massage it on my warm body and that way it'll just melt um, on my body and then I'll have to kind of like do the thing in between my hands unless I need to take that extra step but um that's all I got from lunch but that's so much and I spent something like $70 today but I think it's money well spent um I don't see myself really buying another like moisturizer or I'm sorry another cleanser or anything for a while so we'll see how this goes and if I like it then I'll buy it again so um, I'll let you guys know with a review in a couple of weeks and we'll see how it goes then but thank you guys for watching so much I will have probably a review on the mask of Magnum Minty um, sooner than that just because I'll use it sooner so thanks guys for watching um, subscribe to this channel follow me on Twitter at Pandy Mandy and uh, follow my blog and really there you'll see pictures of me and things that I've been doing or personal thoughts that I've been having and stuff like that so I'd really appreciate it and I'll talk to you guys later bye